Okay, we're going to pull off these brake shoes, and the first discussion is safety glasses, because these springs are hardened, and they will come flying off of there and kill you. So, using the proper safety glasses, there's a handful of professional brake tools that could be useful when pulling these springs. Um, this is an example of one which will release these springs. The shoes are held on by return springs, and also these retaining springs that hold them tight against the drum. We want to leave those on for last so that they'll stay sitting there while we remove these other springs. So um, this tool has a little lip that will hook underneath there and rotate that. Put some light on. When this tool, which has a hole in the middle to go over the peg, in this case the peg is this hook, but you put this over the hook and get underneath that, and when you rotate the tool like this, it lifts it right off. It's beautiful. It might be a little bit easier to see when I take this arm off of that peg. I'm going over the peg with the hole in this, and I rotate this around, and it pulls the arm back. Then when I come out, it comes right straight off. Now, this is a more traditional spring to peg attachment, and once again, the same tool does it. And we usually want to rotate counterclockwise. It doesn't matter. This tool happens to go either way. Some of them won't go either way. So, as, as you can see, I'm putting the hole over the peg. I'm letting the index of the tool drop in behind, um, and it, it picks up the spring and pulls it right out so that I can pull this way on the tool and pull the spring off of the peg. It's beautiful. Mm. Now, while we're right here, the other end of this tool puts it back on. You catch it right there. You hook. See, this has got little fingers at the end. You hook the little fingers. I get this in the hole there. Hook the little fingers over the end of the deal and lift it up like this. And go right on. They are so easy on and so easy off with the right tools. A lot better than using screwdrivers. <laughs> now that the return springs are off, we can take off the uh, retaining springs. This one, and I usually do the front one first because it's connected to the rear one by this adjuster down here and its spring. And the two are connected together. If I take this front shoe, pull it out of this socket, pull it off of the slave cylinder, the wheel cylinder, and off of this parking brake peg by pulling it forward, then to unhook this mess at the bottom, I rotate the shoe down this way and push it to the left, and the adjuster comes out of this pocket, and the spring comes right off. And I didn't have to use any tools. And it goes back the same way. I'll show you later. And that gets us the adjuster and the spring that goes with it. Now the front, uh, the other shoe can come off. This tool, by the way, it's easy to show it, but if you don't say it, you don't know what's going on. They use a brake nail, they call it. And the brake nail comes through the backing plate, and it has a, a T at the top with a point down there. And this retaining washer for these springs has a slot in it. And so when it pushes through the slot, let me get it over there in the light, it comes straight through the slot, but then you have to turn it 90 degrees to get it to come back into that pocket so the spring won't come off. And to turn it 90 degrees, this tool has got a, a bunch of serrated edges on it to grab the edge of that washer. So when I push in, you maybe didn't see it, but I reached around back and I put my finger on the end of the brake nail. And I hold the brake nail so that when I push in on the spring and rotate it 90 degrees so it'll come out through the slot, the brake nail stays put. And so I'm sorry I didn't explain that when I was doing it, but without your finger in the back to hold the brake nail, everything just turns. So that's how that one comes apart. Now we got the rear shoe off and all of its parts. Another good thing is take one side apart, but not the other. Till you're back together, it gives you reference guides <laughs> so that you know how to reassemble. Okay, now I've got to get this brake, uh, parking brake lever off of this rear shoe. It's just got a snap ring. I need a little screwdriver. Anyway, that's how they come off. snap ring. Rotate it up. It's actually an E-clip, sometimes called a C-clip. On this pin, 
looks like the pin's a permanent part of the arm. If you get a small parts kit, you'll get all new springs and stuff. And in fact, look, we have a broken parking brake uh, anti-rattle spring. And hmm. so either we'll uh, find one, I think I have one here, um, or you might look into a small parts kit. Okay. Um, you could even run that one if you had to. It's captive, it can't come out. Ah. All right. It's just an anti rattle So let me, uh, all I need is that and this. Uh, you're welcome to tear that other side apart if you want, or out some straw. Okay. They come apart easy. There you go, Trey.